Hello from aboard the WB Yates run by Irish Ferries. I'm Patrick Hughes and this is Planet Patrick. I'm Patrick Hughes and this is Planet Patrick. So here I am, right at the start of the journey. I'm a bit stressed, honestly. Um, I've packed the back of the car with all the stuff that I know that I need to take, and probably a lot more than I really need, um, but I kind of need to get going, um, because I want to be a little bit early, earlier than the last check-in time, which is three o'clock. It was lovely and cool here, and now suddenly it's gotten very warm. Now I'm going to turn you around so that we can get some shots of the road. So I'm just at the Irish Ferries check-in for the WB Yates. It says boarding, so I'm wondering, are we already boarding? I might not get a chance to get a photograph from the outside. So I might just pop out my camera now. Hi, how are you keeping? Hey, how's it going? Not too bad, thanks. Patrick? Yes, it is. I just need a passport and then a proof of a vaccine or a test, please. No worries. I can either give you electronic or a letter, whichever yeah, you prefer. Whichever's easier for you. I just Pre need to glance at it. So. Granted, the letter is easier than to get out. That's perfect. Is that okay? Yeah, there's your passport. I'll just print your boarding pass out. No worries, thanks a million. Are you boarding already? Um, no, that's for the ship to Hollyhead. Oh, right, so grand. It'll be, it'll be 40 minutes or so. Oh, that's great, yeah. I just want to get out and take a photograph, so that's all right. <laughs> yeah. So there's your boarding pass and Lovely. two cabin keys. Oh, right, so great. If you just throw your hanger over the mirror there, Grant. the lads in the high vis will show you where you're going. No worries. Thanks a million. Thank Have a good one. Straight ahead. Thanks a million. Oh, that's interesting. They've got a rainbow flag as well as the Irish flag and the European flag. <laughs> Go on, you good thing. I was just about to film and I've noticed that cars are starting to move. So actually I better switch off. <laughs> This is, by the way, the WB Yates Irish Ferries. I'm in cabin number 8168. It's a standard four berth, which they've made up for me as a one berth with a sofa. So I'm pretty pleased about that. I was perhaps slightly concerned that it would be made up as a four, and that would make this room feel super small, to be honest with you. But as it is, it makes for a very, very comfortable place for me to spend the next bazillion hours. Some of my more regular watchers will know that I have a preference when it comes to pillows. First of all, I don't like feather. And second of all, I like four pillows. I don't know why. I just want four. Is that too much to ask for? The answer is usually yes, because I almost never get it. And here we are. One, two, three, four. <laughs> what more could a gentleman ask for? 
very little, to be honest. I'm very happy with that. In fact, they're so voluminously poofy that I think that four might be too many. Who knew? It's posh if you've got a window. Otherwise, you're looking at some beige walls for 77 hours or whatever length of time this trip is. Well, it's not 77 hours. It goes from 4 p.m. today until 11.30 uh, a.m. tomorrow French time. So that's some time. Anyway, let's check out this room. Room tour coming up. There is a small desk area here with a bin underneath and a cuboid puff on which to sit. Who doesn't love a cuboid puff? Up top here is my mask and my room key, which is made out of cardboard, strangely. I'm not quite sure what this is for. Perhaps for placing literature or there is a switch here, aha. Uh -huh. For this generous mirror light, which works on the left hand side, I'm sure that's plenty. There is a charging point here, again French style, but that's fine. There is a telephone in room. I'm not quite sure what for, but perhaps there will be some literature we can find. And just inside the door on the left hand side is a storage area, including a large shelf on top, two hooks probably for coats, which, which I'm using for snacks, treats and other goodies, and for the storage of bags. This is the bathroom. There is a place for the conducting of business, plenty of toilet paper, a small bin with a plastic bag in it, a sink with hand wash. Let's check that water pressure. Ooh, impressive. That bodes well for the shower. A properly lit mirror. Hello, properly lit mirror containing me. A Hotello shaver, which seems unusual given that it looks more like a... Ooh. Hello. It looks more like a hair dryer. I'm assuming this is uh, a tannoy. There is a grip for the gripping of grip and a shower. A curtain in plastique. The shower looks absolutely fine. I mean, it's clinical, easy wipe down kind of thing, but that's fine by me. A place to stow your shower gel and a perfectly fine shower head with some shower gel provided. I do like a sign that says, caution, hot water, particularly if exactly what you want is some hot water. That's the bathroom. There are two plug sockets onto here and they're European style. I've brought an adapter just as well in my hand luggage and a small table here for the placement of iPhones, iPads, or snacks and beverages of an alcoholic and non-alcoholic variety. We'll get to that in a moment. There is a TV. I think that might be a 32 incher, something like that. I'm hopeful that it works. There is a remote control. Anything happening? Something happening now. Come on, Samsung, do your best. Something's happening very slowly. As I'm only using one bed, and they've provided me with this delicious sofa, I want to try it out and see if it's actually comfortable. Oh, it's quite comfortable. Well, this will be fine, I think, for watching a movie later on on the iPad. Hmm, oh. stretchy. Nice. I'm not sure you need to see me in this compromising position. I better get back up again. I want to say something interesting about the light. Somebody who comments regularly on my posts, who shall not be mentioned, Mark Aikens, feels that I go on a little bit too much about the light. And I do. But it's something for an elderly gentleman to talk about that isn't drugs or TikTokery. Anyway, here we are, in a cabin. And I think this is going to be really nice. I was slightly scared. I thought it was going to be an itsy bitsy teeny weeny Caledonian sleeper experience which was perfectly comfortable, but was perfectly tiny. This is generous. I've got room to move about and my own bathroom. And for a gentleman of a certain age, that's necessary. Particularly when you become elderly. I'm looking forward to the day. See you soon, up on deck. Assembly stations are identified by a large in Cafe Lafayette and the seating area outside the cinemas at the rear end of deck 10. Assembly station B at the forward end of deck 10. 
Remain calm and follow the instructions given by the crew on how to wear it. Instruction notices Attendant baggage will be removed. Take care when moving end. around the ship. Oh, I love it. Oh, I love it. Oh, I In case you think that I only eat sausages, this is to prove that I do also eat greens. <laughs> mm, hard to do while holding the phone. If there's much to be seen at 5.30 in the morning off the side of a boat, the answer is no, not really. Some waves. Let's get set up for a shower. What's the pressure like? Oh, pretty impressive. Okay, let's get a shower. See you in a bit. I'm trying to see how much hot water I have left, if any. I had pretty good sleep, to be honest. I got maybe seven hours from 10.30 to about 5.30. I didn't wake very much. Car alarms didn't annoy me. There was a lot of pitching and tossing. That's all I'm saying. Anyway, let's see if I've got coffee here or if I need to go and buy some yet. There's about half a mug full of warm. Is that enough to get me going in the morning? Probably. I'm not sure if there's somewhere where I can refill this on the boat. But I'll take it up with me to the canteen later and see if I can. It's like when you've left your mug down for like half an hour and then you came back to it, you went and did something, you took a phone call, you hoovered your carpet. And you're like, oh my god, that's cold. It's that kind of lukewarm. I'm going to pop outside and see what the weather's like. Let's see what there is for breakfast. This will fill.
So here are my final thoughts on this WB Yitz ship from Irish Ferries and the cabin I stayed in. The cabin was super comfortable. I had loads of room to put out all of my rubbish. A very comfortable bed. Not narrow like the Caledonian sleeper, which I think was about 50 centimetres. This was like a proper single bed, around 80 to 90 centimetres wide. And it was plenty long enough for my six foot tall frame. Four pillows. You know I love four pillows. Um, was there some pitching and so on during the night? Absolutely. But when you're lying down, it's a comforting rock to sleep. My sausage snack last night was delicious. It kept me going and filled me up. Breakfast was fine. Probably a bit cold, if I'm honest. And that coffee was weird. What was that weird skin sitting on top of it? It was like the milk had gone off but congealed. I don't know. Um, I was able to fill my flask. And you know I love a full flask so I can make tea later. Hopefully you're now watching pictures of us arriving into Cherbourg and slowly rolling off the boat. Holy Saint Jesus. I think there might be AstroTurf on this deck. Bienvenue en France à tout le monde. And heading on my journey through France, Spain, and Portugal. I'm excited about that. It's great to have this facility direct from Ireland. Yes, a lot of people used to go through the UK on their way. But being in the EU does have its advantages. What I'm interested to see is whether I get stopped by the French Customs for driving a UK registered car, although I'm Irish and travelling on an Irish passport, of course. So either I'll be zooming past in this next bit of footage or I'll be being stopped. I have to say it's moving very quickly. I have my passport ready, I have my vaccine certificate ready, and I have a sworn statement which is required by the French government. Bonjour. Bonjour. Merci. De rien. J'ai aussi un certificat électronique, si vous, non, vous en voulez. C'est bon. d'accord. On regarde juste. Ah, ok. Ça nous suffit. Oh, d'accord. <laughs> Merci à vous. C'est tout bon. Merci. Bonne Merci. Au revoir. Au revoir. She was charm itself. Elle était très charmant. So that's it from this episode of Planet Patrick, the first episode in the European Road Trip Series 2021. That's a bit long, isn't it? Take care of yourself wherever you are. I hope you enjoyed this episode, and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Bye-bye. I'm Patrick Hughes, and this is Planet Patrick.